It's time to finish what we started. It's been 116 days since the A-League season was put on hold and tonight we return with a potential grand final preview. Plenty of practice so far for Piscopo. With these free kicks. Rufa. And now ball across the face again. And was that handball charged down? It appeared Rufus shot. They're appealing for a penalty, but there's no VAR tonight. I'll tell you what, if there was, there'd be a review on right now and maybe a stoppage in play. Is it a blessing to have no VAR tonight, Robert? Well, it is for Sydney at the moment. Retray to Lafondra. Barbarousis back to Lafondra. Squeeze one through and another claim for a handball. Whipped back in by Sydney FC. Pinballing around in the box. Out to Bratton and Marinovic did well to get everything behind it in the end. It's all action here in the opening 15 minutes. Nice great play, great defending and great attacking play. Link up play from Sydney FC. Only three windows where you can make those five substitutions during a game. McCowan. Kakachi, can he get to the byline? Here comes McGowan the other way. Penalty! Libby Kakachi makes things happen again. McGowan is protesting, but we are in the non-VAR era right now, and the penalty will stand. Piscopo slowly in and fires it in, and Wellington take the lead in Sydney. He keeps his nerve. Super pen. That's speed. McCowan. Asked for a handball, and the penalty is given. How careless is that from Ulysses Davila? Lafondra v Marinovic places it this time, and it's 1 1. Spot kicks at both ends. Oh, Davila showed too much of it to Ninkovic. Outside of the boot pass for Bahaja. Marinovic stranded. Trent Bahaja, this is your moment. In pursuit of that Premier's plates. Ninkovic with the interception. What about the pass to Bahaja? And they might be away again. Bahaja's timed his run beautifully for a quick fire double against Marinovic. Second chance. Flights it in. Bahaja with two goals in two minutes. The points are safe now. And he is a super sub. In spite of Wellington losing, it's been a terrific game to open up and welcome back the A League. Yes, the A-League back with a bang, and Bahaja back with a bang. A quick-fire double for the Super Sub. All that wraps up the Premier's Plate for Sydney FC. A record fourth Premier's Plate coming their way. Relaunch weekend is in the A-League. The enforced layoff done. This is about a team desperate for change and another having to deal with a major one. The Mariners are on track for another wooden spoon. Ten losses on the bounce before lockdown. Has the break done a youthful lineup the world of good? Slowly come back into it, Mariners. Still obviously having a few issues with their understanding of the players up front, but slowly but surely they've come back into it, but still overwhelmingly it's been Perth. Oh, Kilkenny finds Dane Ingham who chops in. Oh. And what a hit. And what a goal for Perth glory they have a deserved lead. Absolutely fantastic strike. Great quick thinking as well. Once again, and we talked about that pressure that Perth was putting on. It was only going to be a matter of time. Ironically, after a Central Coast Mariners, like I just said, had a decent little spell, but thoroughly deserved their lead. Imagine the top left is the aim here, and uh, Mariners smartly have got their tallest players in the wall. You see so often short players in the wall. Fornaroli goes through the wall, and it's a smart save from Birigitti. He has a bit to deal with there, and in the end, it's cleared for a corner, but it's good work from uh, Mark Birigitti. It was good work, but it was a save he had to make. And he outsmarted everyone and nearly outsmarted Birigetti as well. Ruiz Diaz in the centre there is two attacking midfielders. Here's Jordan Murray outside Ozzy Malik in space to drive into. He's trying to link up with Silvera who throws his hands up, making that diagonal run. Still it's alive here for Ruiz Diaz. Top of the box, wants a shot. Oh, oh. Jordan Murray through the air. That was better. Well played for the young boy. In the iconic words of Andy Harper, almost like a spawning salmon. <laughs> Jordan Murray with the yeah. dive. Get an act-like growth as well for Nick D'Agostino. He's getting that way. 
neat little ball for Vinny Leia. So sharp, so good Double. for Neil Kilkenny. Here's Armiento. Chance to get on his left foot. Save. Tries to poke it by. Should have cut it back, but Mark Birigidi. Want to roll is furious, and rightly so. The goalkeeping there, though, from Birigidi, boss. Yeah, it was excellent, but he should have been taken completely out of the game at it. In tight, that's where all the bodies were for Perth Glory. The hamstring looks okay, actually. Well, he looks absolutely fine, there, yeah. Firing out of the blocks there. And that should be enough for yeah. Perth Glory. That is enough. So the losing run continues for Central Coast Mariners, but for Perth Glory, the relaunch is a successful one first up. Two clubs with ambitions of causing a stir this A-League season, shaken somewhat by the departure of foreign managers who have returned to homelands, replaced by men from their respective backyards. In keeping with the times, both Brisbane and Adelaide have stayed local. Warren Moon and Carl Viet appointed respectively, and they have talented squads set to launch into the relaunch. It's the Raw and the Reds. A-League football on a Sunday night. Mork linking up with Ryan Strong. Switches out to Ryan Kitto. Interesting position all season for Adelaide United, that left-back role. Michael Maria, who uh, with the bake went back to Holland in COVID and didn't come back. That's a good cross from Ryan Strain. And on the end of it is Christian Opseth. This is a terrific cross. Doesn't try to beat. Corey Brown just whips it in behind him into a super area. Stefan Mork was talking about the absolute enjoyment of training and everyone getting along. And all on the same page. And turn over here, Dylan Wenzel Halls can drive forward. He's thinking about a shot. There's three Adelaide players in front of him, so he shovels it out to Scott McDonald, who gets it back across. And that is a very smart save from Paul Izzo off the head of Wenzel Halls. Gets a pace on this. He goes top left, and that is a fantastic save from Paul Izzo. Wow. Brilliant save. That's better than the save he made from Wenzel Hall's header. Joe O'Shea goes for goal. Good technique. It's an up and over and it's coming down. It's going into that top corner at full stretch. Izzo to his right. His feet, his footwork was perfect. Three saves from Paul Izzo and two of them top class. Chest down from Opseth and it releases in the end Miliuznic who can have a shot at goal and hit the far post at some stage. That was going in but it just drifted away with the momentum of the ball going that way. But it's, it's too clever. And that's too clever as well from Opseth when there was a better option closer to him to transfer the ball. So it's a bit of end-to-end -end stuff at the moment. Shea and Inman. Got himself into space. Here's Wenzel Halls. Out smartly is Izzo. He's on his game tonight. Best chance of the night. It's underneath him, but he manages to just get enough on it. It's five saves and four of them have been quality. And in whips the corner. George Blackwood has hit the bar. It's been a curly. That, uh, that tail on that ball just... And he's unlucky, George Blackwood. That's a decent head up. Good ball from Jay O'Shea. Finally getting the ball where he wanted, which was on the bounce of Tom Aldred. Of a four-man wall right there for Adelaide United. O'Shea, is he looking at that top right-hand corner as he sees it? He sees it a bit lower, but actually it goes into a Marty Holloway. And that is that. Adelaide United, a huge win to start the relaunch for them. They're now entrenched in the top six. Huge win. They leap over Western United. Brisbane Raw nil. Adelaide United won.